All right, everybody, here's another quick tutorial following my last one using Blender as a frequency generator. And in this one, I'll show you how to work with drivers to change the pitch. So we'll add in a driver here, single from target, just use the right mouse button. And we'll use the X value as our target. So now it changes according to the X value. So if I put it on one, got a pitch of one so now you should have a thousand hertz of course we always have to update the animation cache as you saw in the last tutorial okay so we got this one now it would be nice to have a theremin like I change it and automatically in real time changes the frequency which unfortunately it doesn't do usually now when I play it a second time changes the frequency but unfortunately no real time but what I can of course do is I can use keyframes so let's put in two keyframes here and here go back to one update animation cache and now the sound should get lower And what you can also do, let's delete those ones. You can use it to um, have a so called beat. So you just take the speaker, let's put it up here, and take another one, put it just a little bit to the right, update animation cache, and now you have this effect. Or even a little closer. Of course, you can also keyframe that one. Okay, so for the last thing, we want to have a scale, a C major scale, without having to type in all the frequencies. So we put this back to zero, and we use this table, because this is the way our instruments are tuned. All the regular instruments follow those rules. So we got two as a basis and an exponent of our variable divided by 12 and we can type this in in Blender. So we go here and all we have to do is type in 2 and multiply sign, multiply sign 2 times or twice <laughs> and then brackets variable divided by 12 and we multiply it by 262 our C frequency. And now if I should, if I move this Oh, of course, I have to divide it by 0 0.262. Let's move it again. Okay, so now I got my C. I have to move it up here and update animation cache. I got the D or the E, so whatever I want. So now again, I can make it C major tried. Just have to duplicate it, put it on the right spots sure to know where your semitones are. And now we should have a major triad. Or the minor triad. Or the crazy ones. Like that one. Alright, that's it for that tutorial. Have fun!